Sandy Koufax was born Sanford Braun in Brooklyn, New York in 1935, later taking the name of his stepfather. Though he played baseball in a local Sandlot league as a teenager, his true love was basketball. He was a basketball star in high school, and it was in this sport that he would receive a scholarship to the University of Cincinnati. The only reason Sandy tried out for the baseball team at Cincinnati was because he had heard the team was going to New Orleans. Sandy made the team. Though he struggled with accuracy, his speed on the mound caught Major League attention. After his freshman year, he was signed by the Brooklyn Dodgers. Without playing a single game in the minor leagues, Sandy Koufax made his Major League debut in 1955 at the age of 19. Sandy spent his first three seasons in Brooklyn, getting very little playing time. It was after the Dodgers moved to L.A. in 1958 that he would transform himself into an artist on the mound, though success did not come right away. From 1955 to 1960, he compiled a losing record of 36-40, and 40, along with an ERA of 4.1. But after 1960, Sandy would be an all-star for the rest of his career, and would go on to have arguably the most dominant era of any pitcher in history. Once everything clicked, Sandy possessed a repertoire of mainly two pitches that would fool batters for the rest of his playing days. He had what many hitters swore was a rising fastball, along with arguably the greatest curveball of all time. In 1963, Sandy would open the World Series by striking out 15 Yankees, a record for the most strikeouts in a playoff game until Bob Gibson broke it in 1968. He would pitch the final game as well. The Dodgers swept the Yankees and Sandy won the World Series MVP. He would win another World Series against the Twins two years later in 1965. That year, he set the all-time single-season strikeout record with 382 a record which would last until Nolan Ryan broke it by one in 1973. Sandy pitched Game 2, Game 5, and Game 7, losing his first game and then winning the next two, both complete games. In that series, he pitched 24 innings with a .038 ERA. The Dodgers won, and Sandy would win the World Series MVP once again. From 1962 to 1965, he threw a no-hitter each year, his final one being a perfect game against the Cubs. In 1966, Sandy finished the season with 27 wins, 317 strikeouts, and an ERA of just 1.73, all league-leading numbers. But a month after losing to Baltimore in the World Series, the 30-year-old Sandy Koufax announced his retirement. He had developed serious arthritis in his throwing arm, and the pain had become too great to continue. From 1961 to the end of his career, Sandy compiled a record of 129-47, 1,713 strikeouts, and an ERA of 2.19, leading the league in that category his final five seasons. He also won three Cy Youngs and an MVP. In 1972, at the age of 36, Sandy Koufax became the youngest player inducted into the Hall of Fame.